What's up, everybody? How's it going? I just want to preface this by saying that there's a little bit of spoiler talk in it. So if uh, you haven't seen the new Snyder Cut, you don't want to watch this video. And I also just want to say, too, that I have nothing personal against Zack Snyder. I just want to make sure that's out there. And I'm sure he's a nice guy. So I'm here today to talk about the Snyder Cut, Justice League. Um, what do I have to say about it? Well, in a nutshell, I absolutely loved it. Four hours and two minutes, more like an hour and a half in my book. I flew, I loved the cinematography. The storylines were so far superior to the Whedon version. And, you know, for me personally, it was everything I'd hoped it would be. And getting to see my favorite superheroes in action on the small screen, not the big screen, although it still was magnificent and I have to say, two big thumbs up in my book. What did I enjoy about Zack Snyder's Justice League? Well, coming from the James Matthew Byers mentality, definitely seeing Darkseid. Growing up with the Super Friends on Saturday mornings when we got to the Super Powers series, which Kenner had a line of action figures based on. One of my favorite figures was Darkseid, and of course his sidekick Desaad, who is also in the movie, and his son Kalibak. You know, I love the new gods in DC Comics, and I love that we got to see Darkseid on, uh, you know, this film version that Zack Snyder was able to get in there and do over. Love the additional stuff with Atlantis. Of course, I'm a huge Jason Momoa fan and Aquaman. Wonder Woman, to me, was brilliant. Uh, she was action-packed and violent and very Amazonian. Flash, we got to see, you know, Barry Allen in his glory, some great moments with Barry, and of course, definitely Vic Stone, the Cyborg. What we saw at Cyborg really fleshed out his character, and I felt like that he was truly a fully formed entity in Snyder's version of Justice League, and brought a sense of gravity and levity to the film that was absolutely non-existent in the former version. Of course, Volko was in here, and I'm a huge Willem Dafoe fan, and, you know, I absolutely, you know, love seeing Martian Manhunter at the end of the movie, and, and well, before then, of course, he shows up, but, um, spoiler! Uh, so, he was great, and I love Martian Manhunter. Seeing some Green Lantern Corps, you know, at, at the beginning, and the fight sequence with Darkseid, and the gods of Olympus, booyah! Um, you know, lots of epic things that we saw that we didn't get in the original version restored through the Snyder Cut. And I, you know, with the Snyder Cut, I'm a huge fan also of hashtag movements. I use hashtags to, you know, promote things all the time. And this is one of those moments where, hey, a hashtag with a group of people actually helped to bring something about. But segueing from that, I know that not everybody agrees with my opinion. I know that there are plenty of people who do not like the Snyder Cut did not want the Snyder Cut, but you know, I think that in our current, you know, world we live in, I think that being able to have a difference of opinion, share it, and stay civil is something that's very important. Because, for example, my brother, who I love dearly, and we have so many things in common, is not a fan of the Snyderverse, or the Snyder Cut, per se, whereas I'm all about it. You know, I thought that Snyder's Justice League is probably one of the greatest superhero films ever envisioned and placed in pure literary cinematic beauty on the screen, but he didn't feel that way, and that's okay. We all have different opinions, and we're all allowed to have different opinions, and you know, but definitely, I'm a hashtag restore the Snyderverse guy all the way. I guess my brother really loved it. I know he had immediately called me and was like, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> Uh, so I, of course, had to check it out. Uh, I actually enjoyed the original cut. I didn't think it was that bad as people had made it out to be, but and then I, you know, I know there was the whole movement, or at least the Snyder Cut, as they called it, the hashtag movement. Um, so yeah, so I watched the entire four hours and two minutes, even though technically some of that's credits. Never been a huge Zack Snyder fan. I really liked 300. That was probably the only movie of his that I really enjoyed. Um, and then, you know, there's the Man of Steel was pretty good, I, you know, it was, but I mean, it's Superman, so I could enjoy that. Um, but yeah, so my overall impressions was definitely that it was too long. Um, 
just just my opinion. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. That's what I always say. You know, we're all different. There's, you know, everybody needs to learn that. You know, we're all different. You know, we don't all have the same opinions. But I thought it kind of, you know, it drug a little bit in a lot of scenes. And, you know, obviously the slow motion, I was like, when I saw later that 10% of the movie was in slow-mo, I was just like, oh my gosh. I mean, I, I believed it, but... So yeah, so I just, there was a lot of things. Now I love, you know, I love the DC Universe. I love Wonder Woman. The Wonder Woman movie, the first one was awesome. And Aquaman was a lot better. I really enjoyed Shazam, which I know he was not in this, but... So yeah, so I mean, I really like the characters, and I just feel like if they had just made the original cut of Justice League just a little bit longer, they could have made, you know, hashed out all the stuff a little better, but... I really liked, you know, learning a little more about Cyborg. That was probably one of my things I liked about the new movie. But as a whole, like I said, I just thought it was a little bit too long and too many slow mos. And I'm not really a fan of the restore the Snyderverse stuff. I think it just needs to be done, <laughs> donezo. But yeah, so yeah, that's my basic thoughts. And again, these are my thoughts because I'm an individual and I have my own thoughts. Um, I know my brother, like I said, he loves it. And you know what? We can talk about it. I can tell him how I feel about it. He can tell me how he feels about it. And we still get along and all that. So that's kind of what the point of this is. We just wanted to show that, you know, whether we're all agree or not, we're still people. And we have our opinions. And we believe things we believe. So, so yeah. So that's that. And, uh, yeah. Don't restore the Snyderverse. <laughs>